Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone. I am dressed like a 14 year old boy. I even have my book bag on. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Today is Thursday, June something. I am, it's like one o'clock. It's been a while. I like woke up, I like cleaned a little bit, like vacuumed. I'm doing laundry, I had therapy, which was my last therapy session probably for a while. Um, we'll see, I have to see if like my insurance will go through again. Anyways, I have my book bag on because I am going to the laundromat and I they have Wi-Fi, so I'm going to try and edit while I'm there. I have both of my comforters to wash. I just feel like if I'm gonna go, I might as well wash both of them. Um, I've been putting this off for like a week and a half now, so it's time to go and do it. Let's go to the, gro uh, the grocery store. Let's go to the laundromat, peeps. Coda's outside peeing right now, but then we're gonna go. You guys, I'm just not meant to wash this thing. I promise. I have to do it. But look, the water's being shut off. I just drove here and the water, you probably can't see that. I know you can't, but it says water will be shut off at noon for some... I don't know for what, but. So, I'm gonna run to my parents' house because I'm really close to them. I need a package of an order that I sold yesterday. And then, I hate to say it, but I might wait one more day. <gasps> I hate to say it. I might wait one more day and go tomorrow when hopefully the water is shut on, shut on. No idea why I wasn't just recording, but I just fashioned my own box. See, wait, see, I just cut like this piece off. I just took an old Amazon box. Oh no, I didn't, that wasn't the piece. This was the piece. I just cut off of this box to make it smaller and I like taped, see I made like my own box. I'm really proud of this. I just did this with my own brain, dude. So watch out. And then I sold this picnic basket. Oh, it's a picnic basket. So I just bought the, or sold this. And is it going to fit? Here's the moment of truth. She's a little tight. Oh, hold on, let me, let me put you down. My mom has like a whole store down here. Like she owns, she has a, her own Etsy shop. And so my mom has all the accouchement you need for an Etsy store. So I come here. Since I'm new, I come here and I package my stuff. I'm gonna like this. Okay, it's tight, but you want it to be tight. And there is just a little extra room here, which I don't like. So, and like height too. So if you just did it without anything in it, it still rattles around a little much. Wrapping this way. Okay, okay, we're wrapping, we're wrapping, we're wrapping. Hey, calm down over here. It's like I've been doing this for years. I need more tape. There's always tomorrow. Yeah, What I thought about in this scenario is just don't think about it too much. Just do. And I think that's what I need to do with my whole life. not going anywhere okay now let's go print this shipping this is the scary part and honestly I'm probably not gonna record while I'm up there because my stepdad's up there and he's working so I have to be quiet so I'll let you know when I'm done hi baby you look so pretty yeah love you I'm back downstairs that was really stressful I was sweating where did I put you I've got to put you somewhere. I didn't bring a tripod, but I have a box. So, I was a little wrong with, all right, I have a few things I'm gonna do. First and foremost, I'm gonna flip this over. Okay, I was a little wrong on the shipping. Um, this lady like had called me, or wrote me, and asked me if I could lower the shipping, which I don't blame her because it was for almost 60 bucks for some reason, I have no idea why. So, I did that. 
but I was a little off with my calculations. Only off by two dollars, which is less than less than two dollars. It's like a dollar and some change, but still. I don't want to be paying for your shipping shit. So lesson learned. I don't know what the lesson is, but it was learned. So that's that. The order has been packaged and I'm going to go check my mom's front porch because if she has a package out there to be sent out, then I'm going to put mine with hers because her mailman's cool and will like come up and get them. And either, if not, then I'm going to go to the post office, which isn't far from here either, but it would be cooler if I could just leave it on her front porch. Let's see. Where were you? Hmm? This is my buddy. But he got surgery on his little eyeball. So he's been in like a cone. You got a big mat right here. Poor baby. They'll get you all cleaned up. He just went to the vet today for the first time, so. This fogginess is so weird. The smoky skies, it's so strange. It's like eerie. Eerie PA. And I do want to preface or say that my, that I know that my mom's dog looks like a piece of mangled fur right now, but my parents are avid, I mean with Old English Sheepdogs you have to be avid groomers. Ollie just came out of a cone yesterday, or today, um, he went to the vet today and they took it off and he was finally allowed to have it off. He just had surgery a couple weeks ago, so that is why he's all mangled. My stepdad will have that dog at the groomers before you know it. But I did leave my package up there on my mom's front porch and I asked her if it was okay, but she didn't answer yet and I'm not gonna wait. All right, I'm home, I'm gonna eat a chippy. What I have left. <laughs> I'm going to have my laptop out. And I'm going to start putting some stuff on Etsy. All right, guys. I had to stop um, posting things because I was about to fall asleep. So I decided I was going to come out here and do a little quick workout. And I took some pre-workout and it stained my lips. I don't know why. It didn't even stain my tongue, so I don't know why it stained my lips. I've just tried to scrub it off too and it won't come off. So I'm gonna go on my walk like this. I'm gonna smile at people like that. Is that weird? It's weird that I smile like that anyways. Like, Well guys, today took a drastic turn. I was on my walk, and I was listening to a book, and then the book, um, I don't want to say triggered, but um, I started having like flashbacks of stuff, and then I like had like a full minty bee while I was out there on the track walking, so um, got a really good workout in though because I was like, uh, but now I'm rewarding myself with a burger. I know, it's not good, but I don't care. I was literally came home and I was like having like a mild, like I was upset. And um, I was like, the only thing that's gonna make me feel better is eating something shitty. So that's what I'm doing. I also got myself a fucking milkshake. Not that I need that, but I'm not going to be ashamed of it either because rather than drinking alcohol, or doing something like that, I am going to eat a burger. Which, in retrospect, is much healthier. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm just going to call this one here today because I, unless I do something else, which I doubt it, but I am just upset. I, I got really just down, which is fine. I'm feeling much better. You know, I just have to remind myself that, like, that's not now, that was then. I'm doing laundry, so if you hear my washer, that's what you're hearing. Um, so, that's all. All right. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye.
finally made it to Lodge Pass. I'm a professional tire air filler. That's what I do. All right, I'm going to go get to this pet store to get my dog some treats. That's all. Then I'm gonna go pick up a medicine order, an herbal medicine order, and then I'm going to go home, I think. I might stop at Home Goods. I don't know, but we'll see in a minute. Bacon bagels. So what are we gonna do? A bread cookie. Alright, okay, so I got cookie and then not cookie. I'm gonna do this. It's a good one. I've decided I want pizza, and so then I decided that why not try to make the uh, inside out broccoli pizza from the inside out movie. So that's what I'm gonna make. I'm at the grocery store getting ingredients. Look, my grocery store has a whole Disney section. I didn't even know. Ohana means family. Ohana. So many Ohana. A lot of Lilo and Stitch. Winnie the Pooh, that's cute as shit. I wonder how many measures a star can give. That's so cute. Wow. I didn't even know. I got this Melon Paradise Cold Pressed Juice from Meyer. It's watermelon, pineapple, lime. I'm really, I have like a headache. I started my period today, so I'm just like not feeling great. Ugh. Not that good. <laughs> Too much lime, heavy on the lime. It makes you pucker. They could have done less of the lime. Okay, I'll still choke it down. Okay, guys, I'm about to start making dinner. I'm gonna make that uh, inside out pizza. So it's like a broccoli pizza. I'll put in a clip of the movie right now. What the heck is Who that? Who puts broccoli on pizza? That's it, I'm done. But it is, looks good. And it's basically just a ricotta cheese and broccoli pizza. And I might add some spinach because I'm crazy. Um, but I went to the dog bakery for Coda. She's just such a good girl. <laughs> so it's just called the human or the hollywood feed it's literally used to be pet people and this place bought it and changed the name i got her some of these um i got her these in the salmon version and she didn't like them but she really i think it's just because it's salmon so but she really likes this duck version she already ate it i gave her one already so all right and then in here we have i have two of these this one I, I fudged this up at the store. I think I may have recorded that part. Oh no. I got two of these. They're like peanut butter little squares. I got a pride cookie. So the pride, duh. And then a donut thing. A little frosted donut. And then I also got, and then I got two of these, actually. I don't know if I said that, but I got two of these. It was buy three, get one free, so that is why I got three. They're bacon donuts. Bacon biscuit donuts. So I don't know if she'll fuck with these, but if not, I'll give them to my mom's dog or my sister's dogs. There's plenty of dogs around me at all times that if Coda doesn't like anything that I buy her, it goes to someone else. And guess what? Those dogs aren't picky, like my dog, so. If I find something that she likes, I have to keep buying it because to find things that Coda likes is like very small. 
I'm gonna make that pizza, but I wanna watch a YouTube video while I'm making the pizza. So you, my friend, are going to be on voiceover. voiceover. So you're gonna be on voiceover. And which I, what I mean by that is I'm gonna be on voiceover. You ain't just gonna see my motherfucking face. All right? I'm gonna clean this shit up before I go, before I'm gonna get Coda fed and I'm gonna get a battery because mine's about to die. All right, here we go, guys. We're starting off with some boiled water. I'm gonna do a quick blanch on my broccoli, just real quick, in and out, bloop, bloop, in the, wa in the hot water, and then I'm gonna put it in the ice bath so it will stop the cooking process. Watch me do it. Are you watching? And shaky, shaky, dump it in the ice bath. Oh, she got skill. And shaky, shaky, and then dump it in the ice bath, just like that. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't drain it. Um, I didn't want my wa my broccoli to be like extra watery, so I did drain it and let it just sit in that, so it got all the extra water out. And I didn't want to mush it, so I didn't want to put it in like a paper towel or anything. So that is what I did. And then I went out to my garden. Look at my thriving garden. <laughs> but I did get this rosemary plant has actually lived. I did plant this plant and look at it. And then I took, look, and then I'm going to stem it, take it off the stem. Stem it? I don't think that's a word. Uh, no, it's not. And then do a little rough chop, a fine chop. Actually, I did finely chop this down. Look at my knife skills. You guys are impressed as fuck. Look at it. Watch. So, so good. But whenever you don't do this with your knife, it's not a good idea or ruin your knives. I obviously don't care. All right. So I took some extra virgin olive oil and then mix that around with some garlic or some jarred garlic. Really gross looking, but it does do the job when you don't have garlic. I did some salt and pepper. This is some really flaky salt and it's so good. It's really good. It's so good. <laughs> Look at it. Ooh. Yes, flaky salt. All right, so then I took the ricotta. I just got regular old ass ricotta. Not old, actually. It was pretty fresh, but it um I didn't get anything special. And I took just a little bit of that. I just eyeballed everything. I did not measure one thing. Um, and then I seasoned it with some salt and pepper, garlic powder, and some Italian seasonings. Look at that garlic powder. And then some... Italian seasonings. And this is a grinder. And I like it. Grinding. Like I mix, 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 mix. And then this is the pizza dough I use. I don't know how to pronounce it. And look at that pizza dough. Watch her. Watch it. Oh. It's pretty good. My cat just looked at me all weird. And look at me. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I'm a professional pizza stretcher. Use those knuckles so you don't use your nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a piece of dough. Oh, I hurt myself. <laughs> More stretching of the dough. And then I proceeded to put it on my pan. I didn't have a pizza pan, so I just used a regular cookie sheet. And then I remembered I did not grease my pan. So here we go. I didn't know what to do with the dough, so I just threw it to the side. And re-stretching the pizza again. All right, now we're getting to the nitty-gritty. So I took a the, my oil mixture and covered that around the all the dough just saturated in it and then took little globs of the ricotta and did an even layer of that just like that so good yeah, yeah i'm italian some parmesan i didn't use like freshies like i didn't obviously grate it myself i was too lazy for that so some parmesan on there i did not follow a recipe for this so i can kind of just guess what a white pizza would taste like and this is what i came up with which i'm i think is pretty spot on uh, some broccoli pieces. Broccoli and pizza's fire. Don't listen to the movie. It's really good. If, especially if you like broccoli. <clears throat> and there we go. We're all done. Um, holy gosh. Holy shit. I mean, can't even talk. I'm so excited. I was gonna say, holy shit, guys. Look at this fucking masterpiece I just made. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you feel like you're watching Inside Out right now? Hello? Hi, where's my, where's that? Do you feel like you're an inside out? That shit like fire do. <sighs> Let's eat. I'm gonna let it sit for a second, but then I'm gonna eat. Yum!
Good girl. Tool that everyone was clinging to. Like, there's hope. What ended up happening was a man had come to their door to drop off a package. That man. All right, guys. I've got the pizza. It looks so good. It smells so good. I'm really excited. So this is to joy and sadness and anger and disgust and nervous. How could I forget nervous? It's good. Mmm. It's good. I think I need to whip the ricotta. Because it's a little grainy. What's that? If I think if I would have whipped it, it would have made it perfect. But otherwise, 10 out of 10. It's still really good. Yay! Alright. I'm going to eat the rest of this. I just got some Amazon packages. Which was not planned, but it's working out perfectly. But I made a, the healthy Dole Whip with just like the can of pineapple. Look at that. Oh, let me show you what I got. I got these. These are to hang up um, like brooms and stuff. I got some of these. These right here are just straws. But all of my reusable, sh like I need smoothie straws. And the smoothie straws that I have, I have one left. They're glass straws and um, they keep breaking. So I got plastic ones, I got boba ones. And I bought a new toaster because mine broke. Not that this one's gonna be any better, honestly, but it will hopefully will toast. And that's saying more than my last one. I got the cat's new toy. This one looks really fun, actually. It hangs on the wall somehow like there's like attachments you can connect it to things you can hang it like on the doorknob and then this thing goes down you know what i mean and then they can be like me 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 i'm going on a hiking trip with my mom in a couple like next week and your girl gets eaten alive and i really want to try this to see if it helps with um the healing process so, you just put it like on the bug bite and suck. Ooh, watch that. Yeah. So, I'm really excited about this, to be honest with you. Anyways. Healthy Dole Whip. Is it healthy? It's all packed with sugar. Hey, girl. Passing through. Good to see ya. Bye.